Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're revising for the IGCSE ESL exam or looking for top tips to write an essay, you're in the right place. Today, we're looking at the important steps to help you write a stellar essay that will score you those top marks. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our helpful content. Now, let's get started. The first step in writing an essay is to understand its purpose. Are you trying to present an argument or a point of view? Knowing this sets the tone for the entire piece of writing. Next up, analyse the task. Read the question or prompt carefully and any specific guidelines. You should identify your audience, likely a teacher, and understand that an essay should be written in a formal or neutral register and well organised, with an introduction, main body, and conclusion. This will be your roadmap to success. Let's look at an example of an IGCSE ESL question. Here, the audience is the teacher, so avoid language that is too idiomatic or colloquial. The essay's purpose is to inform the teacher about effective strategies that improve your learning experience. You can use some of the ideas from the comments in your essay, but you should expand on them and or include other ideas of your own. The number of words required is 120 to 160. You should pay attention to the word limit as it will help you to plan your time in the examination more efficiently. Once you have read through the task and before you start writing your essay, you should plan how many paragraphs you need and what reasons and examples you want to include in each paragraph. Create an outline for your title, introduction, body paragraphs and conclusion. You should remember a well thought out plan ensures a logical flow in your essay. Let's look at a plan for an essay. Use bullet points to help organise the ideas you want to include in each paragraph. A title in an essay catches the reader's attention and prompts them to read your essay. As your teacher has assigned this essay, an engaging title isn't a top priority. Therefore, you can take words from the prompt. For the introduction, state the facts, give background information and present your main point. The main body of your essay is where you put across your point of view. As this is a fairly short essay, you should aim for two paragraphs. You should focus on one main point in each paragraph with supporting and concluding sentences. For this essay, the two points are teacher feedback and active learning. In the conclusion, restate the position and leave the reader with something to consider. Are you ready to write an insightful essay? First, add your title. Remember, an engaging title isn't necessary as you're writing it to your teacher. Just make sure it is clear and relevant to the question. The first sentence of your introduction is your hook. For this hook, we're giving a fact and some background information related to the topic. The second sentence in your introduction identifies the main idea and includes what the essay will discuss in the body. We call this the thesis statement. Remember, I mentioned that we should have a formal register when writing an essay. Well, one way to achieve this is to try to avoid using personal pronouns like I, me and my, as these words pull focus away from the topic and shift it to the speaker. Now, let's talk about the body paragraphs after the introduction. These support the thesis statement. We use transition words to begin the paragraph, followed by a topic sentence to introduce the point of seeking teacher feedback. After this, we include supporting sentences to explain and give evidence at the end of the paragraph. We link back to the topic sentence by reasserting our original point. Each paragraph should focus on a specific point and provide examples and evidence to support your arguments. Show off your language skills, use a variety of vocabulary, avoid contractions, and use linking words to maintain a smooth transition to connect your ideas. Mix your sentence types including simple and complex sentences, to showcase your English language prowess. As you wrap up your essay, don't forget to deliver a strong conclusion. It is important to summarise your main points and restate your position. Finally, in your last sentence, try to leave the reader to consider the consequences of the topic for themselves or the wider world. So, Let's recap on how to write a successful essay for your exam. You're writing an essay for a teacher, so make sure you are using formal writing, so always maintain a sense of purpose and audience. You should avoid using personal pronouns and contractions. 
You should ensure the task is fulfilled with the correct structure for an essay, and you use a consistent style for this type of text, with your content very well developed. You should use a wide range of vocabulary spelt correctly, and a range of simple and complex sentences that are grammatically correct. Finally, don't forget to use a wide range of linking words to effectively organize and sequence your essay. And there you have it, the essential steps to writing a successful essay. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content to help you succeed in your exams. Until next time, happy writing.